I'm Mayor Bill McLeod, and I'm here today to report to you on the state of our village of Hoffman Estates. While the national economy struggles, the village of Hoffman Estates continues to prove itself a desirable location for corporate business headquarters. NSK America, a leading manufacturer of high-speed precision rotary tools, opened its doors in the Huntington 90 Business Park, adjacent to DMG Moriseki and Big Kaiser. Late in 2010, London-based Tate & Lyle PLC, makers of Splenda Sweetener, announced their intent to occupy a 110,000 square foot three-story building in the Prairie Stone Business Park, just north of the Sears Center Arena. The global headquarters of Tate & Lyle's Innovation and Commercial Development Group, as well as the regional headquarters for the specialty foods ingredient business in North America, is now nearing completion and will bring 160 high-quality jobs to the village this spring. Avnet, a distributor of electronic components, moved into the single story building near Tate and Lyle just recently. One of the major efforts the village undertook in 2011 was the retention of Sears Holdings and Hoffman Estates. Elected officials and staff spent a lot of time lobbying in Springfield for the extension of the EDA legislation and corporate tax credits for job retention and creation that kept 6,000 jobs in Hoffman Estates. The loss of Sears would have been economically devastating to the area. Golf Center Shopping Center saw new tenants come in to change the mix of services available. Royal Seafood Buffet opened in the former Harlem Furniture Building in September, bringing new visitors to the center and generating new revenue with a high volume of new customers. Underground Auto Sports is filling a space that had long been vacant with auto repair and customization services. Other new restaurants opening in 2011 include India House, open in the Crossroads Commons, and Chipotle opened at Golf and Roselle Road. Other new restaurants featured a variety of cuisines that opened in Hoffman Estates include House of Faux, Esch Ticken Pizza, Frank's Shrimp House, and Witch Witch Sandwich Shop. The outlet at the southeast corner of Golf and Roselle Roads near Hoffman Plaza Shopping Center completed a major renovation, including a new facade and building expansion to accommodate a new Chipotle, a Sprint store, and a discount mattress store. The village has focused on office and retail succession planning to attract new tenants in a revolving door marketplace. Priority has been on shopping center anchors such as Dominic's and Hoffman Village Shopping Center or with major office users undergoing transition. Meetings with adjacent landowners at the Meyer site led to developing long-term strategies and potential for synergy between the projects. Thinking regionally, the village recognizes the importance of fostering the growth of existing companies. Hoffman Estates has aggressively partnered with several area precision tool makers along the Golden Corridor, I-90 from O'Hare to Elgin, to help educate potential employees on the career opportunities available in the modern manufacturing industries. The Manufacturing Group also organized a manufacturing summit at Harper College in October to explore the possibility of the community college adding an advanced technology major to their curriculum. As a result, Harper will be adding this major in fall of 2012. Elected officials and staff attended the annual International Council of Shopping Centers trade show. Multiple appointments with developers, brokers, and retailers continue to provide leads for new retail development in the village. The main focus of the Fitness for America Festival in 2011 was to engage children in the community. Our partnership with the Lexington Brothers Network brought a $20,000 sponsorship as they share our common goal of getting kids and their families engaged in an active lifestyle. Fitness for America continues to grow each year and generate international visitors. Participation has grown from 235 in 2007 to 1,550 participants from the 32 states and five countries in 2011, with 700 spectators and 175 volunteers. As the USA's second largest inline skate marathon, we attracted the number one skater in the world, as well as other world and national champions. The event benefited local organizations. Special Olympics Illinois, 
Children's Advocacy Center, and Hoffman Estates High School Cross Country Team. Local businesses benefited from 500 room nights and associated meals. In 2011, the Hilton Garden Inn and Red Roof Inn changed ownership, and new sales teams were hired at the Comfort Inn, Candlewood, and Hampton Inn and Suites. To best assist our hotels in growing rate and capturing business, time was spent in the field to identify possible users and securing a booking relationship for each hotel. The event booking guide for the Sears Center Arena now carries an overview of every Hoffman Estates hotel. Elected officials and village staff members participate in a major new initiative to encourage residents to visit businesses within the village. The benefits of shopping locally were widely publicized to educate people about the return of tax dollars, employment, and other support to their community when they do business locally. Elected officials and staff worked on a number of activities throughout the year, including field visits, attendance at events, and publicity to get the word out. In December, a major initiative was undertaken with the Shop Hoffman for the Holidays weekend. This weekend involved local businesses highlighting special sales and the village publicizing the shopping weekend in a variety of ways to encourage residents to patronize local establishments. A dedicated website was created for the event. Feedback from the weekend from both retailers and residents was positive, and dramatic growth in website visits was seen since the Shop Local campaign was launched a year ago. A major change in 2011 was combining the former Plan Commission and Zoning Board of Appeals into one joint review board. The new Planning and Zoning Commission assumed all duties of both former boards and began meeting in June, which helped streamline the review process. The village continued to see an increase in development and redevelopment discussions in 2011. These include a major expansion of St. Alexis Medical Center, the Marizzo Funeral Home, and a major facade renovation at the Hoffman Village Shopping Center. Several other projects, including a new apartment development, two new restaurants, and a bank began the review process in 2011 and will likely conclude in 2012. Several other property owners have discussed possible development proposals with the village and is expected that activity will continue to increase during the next year. The village processed a number of zoning requests in 2010, reviewing over 100 signed permits during the year and performing a basic zoning review of all commercial building permits and new business licenses. The village continues to manage the cellular communications antenna review process. This includes new installations and site upgrades on both private and public property. Activity in the sector has remained high during the past year. The village has also been working on transportation projects, such as the RTA Transit Study Project, and the Canadian National Railway Sound Wall Project, as well as planning efforts for transportation improvements in the I-90 corridor, among others. The village continues working to secure grants, such as various projects funded by the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act, the Energy Efficiency and Conservation Block Grant, the Local Energy Assurance and Planning Grant, and the Communities Putting Prevention to Work Grant. The village adopted an energy assurance program as part of the LEAP grant terms. The benefits to the village from participation in this project include an energy usage analysis of multiple village facilities and a plan for sustaining municipal and business operations in the event of an energy emergency. As part of the energy efficiency improvements, the village worked with the Department of Commerce and Economic Opportunity to secure additional funds to leverage with federal grants. The projects funded by the EECBG helped guide efforts towards increasing green initiatives. In 2011, several lighting efficiency projects were completed at the Village Hall and Public Works buildings. A reduced cost energy assessment program for village residents continues. The Village's Green Initiatives Commission helped develop the Hoffman Estates Green Business Recognition Program which was introduced in April of 2011. Last year, eight businesses were recognized through the program. The village continues to maintain the Growing to Greenness webpage 
various programs in conjunction with Swank, and communication with organizations and residents regarding the village's green programs and projects. The village maintains a website, visithoffman.com, that contains information on events and updates to all restaurants' openings and closings. The completion of the street revitalization project, costing about $2.3 million, on time and under budget, was a major accomplishment in 2011. Transportation and Engineering Division personnel coordinated all aspects of the reconstruction of seven streets and resurfacing of five streets. The engineering design for a full interchange at Barrington Road and I-90 made significant progress in 2011. Following a village request, the Illinois Department of Transportation advanced funds to be used for Phase I engineering services. The Illinois Tollway Authority will be reconstructing and widening the Jane Ames Tollway I-90 through Hoffman Estates for the next several years. Design concepts were developed during 2011, which included providing space for transit operations on the tollway. A bus on shoulder or a manage lane type of operation could be implemented in the median to help build transit familiarity and ridership in the tollway corridor. The tollway design would also allow conversion of lane and shoulder areas to bus rapid transit or rail at some point in the future. As the economy begins to improve, the elected officials and staff of the village look forward to working to ensure the village continues to grow and develop. We are fortunate to have so many people volunteer to help the village improve and grow. We thank all of you who invest your time in our community. Thank you very much.